Alrighty guys, so in today's video, I wanted to take you through the three things that I've implemented to build confidence in trading ICT concepts. A little bit of a raw video, me talking just to the camera like this, because I think a lot of traders, you know, including myself, when you first start trading ICT concepts, you grasp the concept, you understand what the PDRAs are, but you struggle to actually apply that and to have confidence applying that in the market. And I think this is a really big issue. Now, I'm gonna break this video into three segments. Now, on the topic of chart time, guys, if I was to talk about this, this is one of the most important things that's really helped me. So, a lot of you guys might know, some of you guys might not know if this is the first video that you're seeing, but for me personally, when I started trading ICT concepts, I started trading the indices and I traded the New York AM session and then I started trading the London session too. So, I experienced Forex during the London session, the indices during New York session, but all of this chart time allowed me to see these things repeat, repeat, repeat. And it also allowed me to have confidence when I'm taking these trades. Like, you gotta understand that the more you see things repeat, the more confidence you're gonna have when, you, when you're taking trades. If you're simply putting in 30 minutes a day or one hour a day, that's not enough in my opinion. You've gotta see these things repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, but you might say to me, well, wait a sec, Ruben, the silver bullet is only one hour. And that's correct. But when you trade a macro strategy like myself, the macros occur every single hour, which gives you that opportunity to have chart time. Now, if you can't trade multiple silver bullet sessions, it's still beneficial in my opinion to have a look at the markets in between those sessions. So let's assume you're a London session trader like myself and you're on the markets, you look in the markets and you're trading from 2 a.m. in the morning New York time to 5 a.m. Have a look for another hour outside of that time frame. Vice versa, if you trade the New York a.m. session, see if you can stay awake or have a look at a portion of the p.m. session because the big thing is the more chart time you have, the more confident you are in taking those setups and the more likely you are to recognize these certain price signatures and these little bits and pieces rather that pop up that give you confidence to execute the trade and to actually apply these concepts day in and day out. Now by chart time, I also mean forward testing your concepts. I think there's a really big misconception about the importance of back testing and this might be contrary to a lot of people thinking, but realistically for me, I've done very little back testing over you know, the last year in terms of learning ICT. In the last six months, I've done zero hours of back testing in terms of forward testing hours upon hours upon hours. Now you might ask me, why would I rather sit there on the markets live as opposed to going back and back test? Well, there's a couple of things, right? Number one, if you're back testing, where are the emotions? Number two, in my opinion, back testing is really beneficial to know that a strategy works. But once you know that strategy works, what is the point of back testing? You're better off spending your time looking at the markets live trying to react to things happening live in the markets than looking at things that have already happened. Now, yes, patterns are gonna repeat, but the market can be slightly different each day, day in and day out. So on this note, guys, back testing is really good when you're trying to learn the strategy. So if you're learning a typical rate of liquidity, you know, market structure shift, return to a fair value gap, it's great, but we know it works, we know it works. People are profitable using this strategy. Same with the macro-based strategy that I teach, that I implement myself, it works, right? You've got to find out for yourself and back test that. But once you've found that out, in my opinion, you're better off spending your time forward testing the markets. Now, I'm a big and firm believer in forward testing with demo funds to start. But if you have the capability, what I do myself is I'll forward test with actual capital. Now, why does that work for me? Because I know that emotions are involved in trading. And if I'm trading on a demo account, like many people experience, you can trade extremely well on a demo account and then all of a sudden you go into a live funded account and you blow the account, you blow the account, you blow the account. It's something everyone goes through, right? But that's because when you're testing these things out in the market, there's no emotion involved in the trade. There's nothing involved, right? So my thing that I kind of started implementing when I started learning the concepts was I started off with demo, I started off with back testing, then I forward tested and I just watched the market live and then I forward tested with an actual account so I can experience those emotions starting off with small values and then increasing that to the typical size that I would use on a typical funded account. Now doing these things, right, by having chart time, by forward testing and by back testing initially, you build that really strong base. A lot of people are gonna be out here saying, oh, back test, back test, back test. It only does so much. So in terms of talking about point number one and chart time, I'm talking about chart time in majority, 95% should be forward testing, looking at the markets live, testing your emotions to see how you react to certain different situations. Point number two is to journal your trades. What do I mean by journaling your trades? There's a lot of information about, you know, what is consistent journaling, what is good journaling. For me, it's a matter of journaling all the trades you take, winners and losers, your thought process for taking that trade. And if it wasn't the outcome that you desired, have a think about why. You have to question as a trader to, to consistently improve. 
I'm not saying here that you gotta, you know, sit here and learn every single concept and continue learning. Yeah, fair enough. You're trying to build an edge and you know learn how to implement your edge a little bit more effectively and efficiently. But in terms of learning all the concepts, it's not necessary. Pick something that works for you and then stick at that. And then once you see these things repeat and you're journaling these things, wins, losses, even trades, guys, that you don't take and that you're looking at when you're forward testing, there's something to keep in mind too. Really important because the more you see, the more you're going to be confident and the more you're journaling your emotions, the better you're going to be at you know controlling those emotions. It's one of those things that takes time. You can't expect to recognize these patterns, these sequences. You can't expect to know everything in one month, two months, three months. It honestly just depends how much time you put into it. You know, I'm from Australia, so I had access to, you know, the London session, also the New York session. Had I not, I would have been looking at the markets as much as I could during that time frame. Have I sacrificed time doing other things? Yes, of course, right? I've sacrificed time, but that time that I've sacrificed now allows me to see the markets clearly. And I'm able to come into the markets every single day, any session. I could trade the New York PM session, New York AM session, the London session, Asian session if I wanted to, and I could still apply the same concepts there. So it's a matter of learning the concepts first, back testing that with a chart time, forward testing, and allowing yourself to see these things repeat. I've worked full-time too, right? And I manage trading with a full-time job over time as well. So I understand what it's like. It's tricky. And you're going to have to put in time on the weekends, after work, late at night, if you really, really want to see success with this kind of thing. Because think about this, right? I myself, you guys might have been to university. You go to university for three years. Three years to learn a particular skill or three, four years to learn a particular trade. And you're not willing potentially to put in one year of hard effort. So think about that. Whenever you kind of doubt yourself or you're struggling, think about the comparison between the two. Compare it to like a university degree or getting a trade certificate. You put in time to get the reward. Similar thing with trading. You have to put in the effort at the start. You have to build the foundation that then allows you to build that edge and improve on your edge in the markets as time goes on. So I wanted this video to be as realistic, as raw as possible because a lot of people give you, I guess, information that's not going to really help you in the long run. And there's no secret success, secret strategy. It's all about time, putting in the work and submitting to time, whether you're one month in, two months in, six months in, two years in. Everyone has a different timeline in terms of when they're going to achieve profitability and the time will happen when it's right for you, right? So trust the process. Again, guys, if you like these types of videos, let me know. Trying a different style of video here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Any questions, send them in the comments below. Keep an eye out guys, this week I will be releasing the course, the macro course, everything that I use to personally trade with live trading examples. But until next time guys, I'll talk to you then. Peace.